this week I don't want to vlog at all I don't want to do anything I don't want to work on the business I don't want to even look at it because I know it's gonna stress me out I don't want to see anyone and that's the current vibe my mental health has not been the best especially over the past week I am just emotionally and mentally drained. I know I've mentioned it in previous videos that my mood and motivation has been like up and down and last week it was like the worst that it's ever been in terms of the lows. Like I had, it's hard for me to even describe what I felt cause I've never felt that way before but it almost felt like, oh, this is anxiety or this is what it's like to be sad. It was like so bad that every, other bit of anxiety and sadness I've ever felt didn't even compare and I was like oh I was I wasn't anxious or sad in those times because this is what anxiety feels like so I have therapy this evening I think I have a doctor's appointment right now hold on sorry y'all <laughs> Talking about <clears throat> my mood swings and everything reminded me that I made a doctor's appointment at 8.30, I believe, and it's 8.23, so that wouldn't have been good if I missed that. Oh, yes, it's today at 8.30. Wow, thank goodness. <sighs> There's just been a lot of things that I've been... I, neglecting health wise just like the various checkups you're supposed to be getting and certain things that are happening that I kind of didn't really see as a big deal and then when I was talking to someone about it they were like and so it made me realize okay this is kind of a big deal so I have a whole <laughs> list here of things that I want to talk to my doctor about because I I just have been neglecting um, my physical health and my mental health and I'm just like so tired so I'm gonna do this and talk to you later while my oatmeal thickens I thought I would tell you about my weekend because I realized that I forgot to do that Wednesday Thursday Friday were not great days mentally for me my mood swings have just really been affecting obviously my moods and then how I feel about myself at the end of the day, I just feel like completely depleted of like energy and and I just felt really low those days. So I really didn't feel like doing anything this weekend. Saturday was pouring down rain exactly like last Saturday, which was kind of funny. So basically did exactly what I did last Saturday, which was just read 
and I did, I set up like a new accounting software. I did like one little thing of work, but that was kind of mindless because all I had to do was plug in things and categorize them. And I just been putting that off and I was like, you know what? I'm just sitting on the couch, might as well. And then Saturday evening, we were both like, we want to get out. It would be good for me to do something because sometimes when you're, you know, feeling really low, it can be really hard to push yourself to do things. It's so easy to just isolate yourself and not do anything. And sometimes that's good if that's what you need, but sometimes that can make you feel worse without you realizing it. So we were going to go to a boat light parade in Sausalito, but like I said, it was pouring rain. So getting there was a trek and then we'd have to sit in the rain. So we just didn't end up doing that. We just decided to go to like a little strip somewhat nearby, which has like shops and restaurants. And we were walking around there and it ended up being like, there was like a holiday parade, kind of, not really a parade. There was just like little characters walking around. There was like Cat in the Hat, who was kind of creepy. The Grinch was walking around. There was like this dog thing, <laughs> people on unicycles, people juggling. I met Peppa Pig, the funniest scene in white lotus is when tanya's like guess who i am and is like dressed in all pink about to go on her vespa ride and valentina's like peppa big and then we walked by this restaurant that looked good and we decided to sit down and have a meal and it was just like a little spontaneous thing that made me feel good like break out of the routine because i think when you don't drink it's hard to have like spontaneity and like chaos but like the good kind of chaos where you don't really know how your night's gonna end and it's like exciting although you know, some of the times that's not exciting, but it's hard to find times of spontaneity when you're like sober for every single one of your decisions. So just walking by a restaurant and like choosing to eat there was something that we don't really do or that I never really do. So it felt, it was nice to break out of the routine and do that. Yeah, that was a little weekend recap, I guess. Um, this week, I'm hoping is better than last week. This man loves oatmeal. Whenever I make oatmeal, he is up and ready to eat it. journal I'm about to have therapy which has been much needed since last week sometimes with therapy though I just don't even know where to start like I don't know maybe I should start writing notes do you need therapy nappy and even like then the therapy like that's supposed to help my feelings of stress and overwhelm becomes stressful because I feel like I'm not going to cover everything in time but I know that that's not the point. <sighs> morning if you can't tell this vest has been my favorite thing I've ever bought and I thrifted it which is even better you may have seen it look different than this because it's reversible I usually wear this side out but lately I've been feeling that side in and I just washed it mm, don't you love when you wash like your favorite article of clothing and then you can just keep wearing it again and again i'm feeling pretty good this morning which has been rare lately so i'm gonna take advantage and record something when i'm not you know in a emotional state although i did just 
bawl my eyes out at a Google commercial. Yeah. Anyways, today is Tuesday. I'm currently boiling water for tea and I'm going to head down to my lounge, my apartment's little work area lounge to work. I was gonna go to a coffee shop, but today's the day that I go to my neighbor's and I do that at noon and it's eight. So I, by the time I get to a coffee shop, I feel like I wouldn't have that much time there. So I'm gonna go downstairs and work today. Yesterday I had a call with um, my business advisor, my like free business advisor, and I'm feeling good. There's been like, I've had so much internal struggle over my personal content and then the brand and like the business and like what do I post on each and are those technically two separate businesses? Like if I, like my AdSense from YouTube, is that count towards my revenue for my Study Sunday business? Like I was just really confused and I was letting it, oh, <laughs> sorry dude. I was letting it, or I was like frozen and indecision and whatnot. Talking with her was really helpful. And I'm feeling like a new sense of like motivation. And there's a couple other like insights that I wanna share. Essentially what I've been dealing with is like too many options and feeling like, okay, I could take this business in so many different directions. There's so many different opportunities for sober alcohol-free businesses. There's like events you could put on and online bottle shops and like all this online non-alcoholic bottle shops and like so many opportunities that I'm just keep thinking of, which is causing me to get overwhelmed because I'm like, oh, there's so much I could be doing and there's so much I have to do. But I'm reading this book called Essentialism, which I think I mentioned in a previous video. And what it's saying is like, if something is not in the top 10% of like things you love or like things you know will make an impact, you shouldn't do it. So 90% of the things that come your way, you shouldn't do anything about. If you don't, if you can't say like, hell yeah or yes to something and it's like sort of no if there's any percentage of like maybe you need to like not do it which is pretty cutthroat you know but that's how you will not get burned out at work with like all these requests coming to you that's how businesses can really scale and grow if you like focus on one thing and do one thing really good and then scale the whole theme of essentialism is less but better i can share more about what i've been learning because I have really been enjoying it. It also was talking about sleep and how lack of sleep literally decreases your ability, ability to be creative, decreases your ability to prioritize things. And if you want to be like a productive person, there's only so much you can do on a certain amount of sleep. So yeah, I'll link that book down below. Oh, hello. If you are also just overwhelmed and struggling to figure out what to focus on. It's been super helpful and I'm only like halfway through it. Mwah! I also had therapy last night, which was good. I look forward to therapy. I'm editing this video right now, but I wanted to mention one thing that I talked about in therapy that I didn't realize was important at the time of filming this. And now that I've had a couple days to reflect, it's really important and it's valid. And that is celebrating the little wins and the little successes in your life. And on last Wednesday, it was like my worst, like I explained, my just lowest day in a long time. And I could have just shut out the world. I could have just stayed in bed, but I chose to instead fulfill my responsibility of going to my neighbors that evening and chatting with her. And I opened up to her a little bit about how I was feeling and she she was just a person to lean on in that moment and that in itself my therapist was like let's not let's not just skip over that because I think I skipped over it when I was talking about it and she was like that's something that's a win was that you were feeling low but you decided to do something that you thought might make you feel better which was talking to someone so that is something that I'm definitely going to focus on. Therapy, you know, she's really good at catching me when I'm engaging in like negative self-talk, but also when I'm just like not giving myself the credit I deserve. So I appreciated that. And I just wanted to remind you to celebrate your little wins as well. I go to my lounge, I have my tea and my spin drift. I always need multiple beverages. I have been finding that I 
can't work in my apartment, at least in the morning. Like I start getting way too overwhelmed and distracted. I think I also need to just like switch up my, um, whoo, like space in there because it's pretty drab. This is it currently. Like I have nothing on the walls. There's no windows in here. It's like constantly slightly cluttered. Those are the cat things that have been there for the past two months while the cats have been here. I like picked up this lamp on the side of the street. That lamp doesn't work. So there's just lots of things that I think I could do in here to make it a better, uh, more productive, more inviting work environment for myself. Oh, that was close a better, more productive work environment for myself. So that is the goal for the new year. I, yesterday, it's the last thing I'll say. <laughs> I'll stop talking right now. I mapped out two to three, I mapped out three important days for the rest of the year. The first is this Saturday, which is a day completely to myself, besides like one plan I have at the end of the day, but morning and afternoon, completely to myself, just to reflect on 2023. Nope reflect on 2022 and set intentions and goals for 2023. I've been writing down little things I wanna work on in 2023, like in different journal entries. So I'm gonna look back at my journal and look at what I want to accomplish goal-wise for the business, cause I don't really have any clear like business goals. My only goal is to just like grow and help as many people as possible. So I wanna set like specific goals and also just reflect on the progress I've made and um, different things I wanna start incorporating into my life, like more playtime. So that's one day. And then the other two days, it's gonna be like one to two days, probably more than that, but the rest of it will be like little parts of each day. Basically, New Year's Day is going to be spent organizing this apartment, getting rid of things that I don't need, donating cl the clothes, like cleaning out the closet, organizing like drawers, cause I've just been like letting it all get kind of disorganized. Okay. I'm gonna go downstairs. tonight but i wanted to ask do you guys have like favorite podcast first of all please leave your favorite podcasts in the comments because i need some new ones but do you when you do, like your favorite podcast do you listen to every episode no matter if you're like interested in the guest because i feel like i have favorite podcasts but i don't listen like some days i'm like Ugh, i don't want to listen to this and usually if i just make myself listen to it i end up really liking it and learning more, but some of my favorite podcasts, I can't really, I don't like to listen to everything. So I don't know, I'm just curious if you all like listen to every single episode of every single podcast you like, or if you pick and choose. Whenever I walk, I feel quite incognito because I have my hat, my glasses, and then this is like half my face. Long Jin's hiding. It's behind the tree. <laughs> Preparing for the meeting. Just writing out my notes of um, my personal highs and lows. And then I just have like little notes that I go off of every week. Even though I kind of have it memorized by now. We're back in the closet. I'm very excited to kind of spice up this apartment and one of those things is going to be getting a different meeting set up. I need to stop my tea. I always have a nice cup of tea um, when doing my meetings because it soothes the soul. Mm -hmm. 